This week on Working Class Foodies, we're gonna beat the heat with a recipe for cucumber soup that's quick, easy, and requires zero cooking. This week on Working Class Foodies. All of the heat and the rain the past couple weeks has made my garden go absolutely crazy, especially my cucumber plant. In one day, I harvested six beautiful cucumbers. I wanted to put the cucumbers to use right away so I could enjoy their fresh flavor immediately. Because what's the point of growing your own cucumbers if you can't eat them right out of the garden? The most important factor to making this cucumber soup delicious is to use cucumbers that are really fresh. Above all, you want a cucumber that's firm and feels solid in your hand. Now cucumbers are mostly water, so to beef up the flavor of this soup, I used a lot of fresh mint and oregano from my garden. You can also use basil, chives, chervil, tarragon, Pretty much any fresh herb you have on hand would probably be perfect in this soup. <coughs> Rinse your cucumbers and then peel them. These cucumbers literally came out of my garden 10 minutes ago. You can't get fresher than that. If you want to de-seed your cucumbers, you can, but if the seeds are small or your cucumbers are super fresh like mine, it's not necessary. Once your cucumbers are peeled and, if you want, de-seeded, roughly cut them into chunks. You want to make about six cups. Then put your cucumber chunks in a bowl. Then roughly chop about half a large onion. I recommend using a Vidalia onion because they're a little bit sweeter, which is important since this is going to be a raw dish. If you don't have a Vidalia onion on hand, that's fine. Use about a quarter of a regular onion. Add your onions to the bowl. Then de-seed and roughly mince about half of a jalapeno pepper. Well, I think I'll shun my clothes. Add your jalapenos to the bowl. Live out in the and finally, roughly mince two cloves of garlic. Let an early spring do some good for me. And add your garlic to the bowl. Then you're gonna to wanna to add about four tablespoons of whatever fresh herbs you're using. I did two tablespoons of fresh oregano and two tablespoons of ribbon fresh mint. Just pile up your leaves, roll them up into a tight little bundle, and then just mince your way through. Finally, I added a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, and about a quarter teaspoon of sweet Spanish paprika. Mix this all together, and then add it to a blender. You might have to puree your soup in batches, so have another bowl on hand to pour the pureed mixture into as you go along. Now add about a cup of homemade chicken or vegetable stock, and about a half cup of either sour cream or thick Greek-style yogurt. Blend your soup together. When everything looks like it's all chopped up, taste it and adjust the seasoning if necessary. I can't see you. I added about another half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper and about half a teaspoon of white vinegar. A little bit of acid will do wonders for brightening up the flavors of this soup. Blend again. And taste. If your soup tastes right, pour it into a container and refrigerate it for about 30 minutes just to let the flavors come together. Now one thing I did notice after refrigerating was that the vinegar and the yogurt had separated in the soup. That's okay, give it a shake and it'll come back together beautifully. Now for a really light lunch, you can eat your cucumber soup as is. However, I served mine with a little dollop of Greek yogurt on top, a drizzle of really good olive oil, and some fresh paprika. And of course, a nice hunk of toasted bread to scrape the bowl clean. This quick cold soup is perfect for a weekend lunch to take to the office, or even as a light summer dinner on a hot night. This soup will keep in the fridge for about a week. Just remember if it separates to give it a good shake to mix it all back together. This soup will require about two pounds of cucumbers. I saved a little bit of money by using cucumbers and herbs for my garden, but of course, if that's not possible for you, that's okay. It's still a very affordable soup. All in all, the soup should cost you about five to six dollars, and that'll make four portions. So it comes down to, at most, about $1.50 a portion. Now, of course, if you're looking for longer lasting ways to use your cucumbers, check out our pickle episode, which is, without a doubt, my favorite way to enjoy cucumbers. So this cold cucumber soup is what I'm enjoying this week for lunch. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cucumber recipe is or your favorite summer lunch recipe. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter or subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies.
Still hungry? Click the boxes below for more great recipes. Our gazpacho is another delicious cold soup perfect for a hot summer day. If you've got more cucumbers than you can puree, be sure to check out our pickling episode. And the last box will take you to last week's episode. See you next week.